If you want to edit short form videos quickly and efficiently in DaVinci Resolve, this is the video for you. I'm going to walk you through the entire process from setting up your project to exporting your final edit. And if you've got multiple videos to edit, I'll even show you how to batch process them to save even more time. Let's get straight into it. Let's start by creating a new DaVinci Resolve project. So open DaVinci Resolve, right. In the project manager window, you can either double click on an untitled project. You just have to name the project. You can select control S to save this current project and then select save. The other way you can do that is to right click in project manager window and selecting create new project. So if you're working with content like TikTok shorts or Instagram reels or something like that, we have to change the settings in DaVinci Resolve. Inside of DaVinci Resolve, go to project settings. Under master settings, we can change our resolution to 1920 to 1080 HD, select this use vertical resolution. The other thing that is important is the timeline frame rate. I usually just go for 25 frames per second, but it depends on what you want to do. If you have footage that's shot in 50 frames, 25 is half of that. You have some extra frames to slow down 50%. Even easier way to set up your project. So every time you open DaVinci Resolve, it will give you the settings is if you go to the top right corner here, there's three dots there. And then you can say save current setting as preset. Name your preset. And every time you open DaVinci Resolve, it's all set and done for you. So at the bottom of the screen, there's different sections here. So let's go to the edit section because this is what we're going to use most of the time. In the media pool section here, we can create some folders. So you can right click here and say new bin, name your bin and inside that bin, you can right click again and import media and find your media and import it into the bin like that. That's the long tedious way to do it. There's an even easier way to just import your media and your bins with one click or one drag. So if everything's set in files, you can go to that file and then just drag that file onto the master. It will ask you to change the frame rate. I don't want to change it. So instantly you'll see that it created bins from the files. It's got your music, it's got your B-roll, and it's got the Philippine bin. If you right click on that main bin and select automatically resync media files, whatever you add into that file now will automatically appear in your bin in DaVinci Resolve. Now that we have our bin set up in DaVinci Resolve and organized, let's set up our timeline for multiple edits. This is the way that I like to do it inside the master bin, or you can create a timeline in the Philippines bin as well. So right click in the media pool section, timelines, create new timeline, and then you can name your timeline. Just keep it on use project settings because that was the settings that we changed earlier. If you wanna batch edit more than one short form video, you can use markers in DaVinci Resolve to separate sections. You can add a marker anywhere on the timeline by pressing M on your keyboard. When you double click on that, you can change the color of the marker. Since I want this one red, you can name that marker. Now this is where it's interesting. If you hold in Alt on your keyboard and click on the marker and drag it out, now we've got a 30 second section on our timeline. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Let's do this for the next section. I'll press M on my keyboard and then hold in Alt and drag it out. So as long as the playhead is on top of the marker, it will show this duration meter on the screen. So if you only want it 15 seconds, you can just lower it down. So we've got two sections laid out for video number one and video number two. So now whenever we'll export, we'll use the in and out points to export our sections. It snaps to the markers and it's easy to export just that section. Whenever you edit on TikTok or Instagram Reels, you want to use the built-in music, but you can't use it on DaVinci Resolve, right? You can screen record the song that you like or the section or the part of the song that you know you're going to use and then just import that into DaVinci Resolve. So this is only for reference. We won't be exporting the final video with the screen recorded song. This way you'll know that your edit aligns with the part of the song that you want. All right, before we start editing, there's another part of DaVinci Resolve that I wanna talk about that will make your life so much easier. So if you don't know what PowerBins is, instead of importing the same assets or effects or presets that you use in all your short form content, you can use PowerBins and access them instantly. If you go to the top of the media pool, there's three dots, click on them and 
just enable show power buttons and inside of power buttons there's a master button and you can save your motion graphics templates drag and drop your folders in the power button and it will show up in all your projects all right so we've got our music track you can use markers to mark the beats of the music so you can edit more efficiently on the beat press m on your keyboard with your music track selected let's play it from the start Cool, so that's pretty much on beat. This is a nice guideline to have when you're editing on beat. Now we're all set up. Let's start with the edit. I'm just gonna go through some clips and see what I wanna use. This one in and out. So we'll use that. To auto reframe, smart reframe, you can select the shot and then under smart reframe, you can leave it on auto. It's pretty, pretty damn accurate. So then you can just select this reframe and it will analyze the clip. She's there we go she's in the shot to slow clip down you can just click read time controls and then change speed usually 50 percent will work because i've shot nice all right cool so we can use some built-in transitions if you want i'm not i don't use it that much but sometimes there's some dead space or something happening in the clips that you want to use a uh, transition for. Don't overdo it too much. It can make your video look super messy. For this sake, maybe a little bit of a cross dissolve. Let's see what it does. Yeah. The action in the shots itself happens on the beat of the music as well. Like for instance, you'll see this turtle flap on the beat of bah where she falls in the water it's on the beat instead of cutting the clip on the beat the action in the shot happens on the beat of the song so you can look for that as well that will help to elevate your edits if you have a voiceover or you've got someone talking in the video you can easily generate subtitles when you go to to the timeline on the top here and say create subtitles from audio so it will analyze the audio in the video and it will create subtitles from that i'm just going to put on some on-screen text you can add in a basic text layer on the right hand side you've got all your settings and then you can just copy and paste your pre text that you've pre-made and then you can resize them so to duplicate that text layer with the same settings so you don't lose that adjustments that you made you can hold in alt while clicking and dragging that over let's mute the audio track the music track so we'll focus mainly on the camera audio because that's something that we will export and import onto the platform so you'll see at the bottom here the waveforms on the audio tracks they're not like the same size on the track you'll see these two arrows you can drag it up or down and make them the same size some of the shots are a little bit shaky so we can use the built-in stabilization of the Vinci Resolve with your clip selected click on stabilize and it should do a decent job like that looks a little bit better we can further edit our clips by adding compression and EQ and stuff. Uh, when you go to the Fairlight section with track two selected, so we'll do a little bit of compression in the dynamic section on the mixer side. When you double click on this rectangle, if you double click on it, it will open a dynamic window. Enable the compressor. With the audio playing, you can see what's happening on the screen. This is the gain reduction section and the threshold so that's the main thing we want to focus on if you want to learn more about compression you can watch this video right here i'm just going to go over the basics of this when you look at the gain reduction usually about minus three to minus six is fine anything more than that is way too much compression so i'll just pull back a little bit on the threshold there and then you can use the makeup gain to add back that three dbs that we lost we can also add some eq when you click on the eq section there double click on that you can open up the eq and you see there's some low rumble there we'll just take some of that out and just add a little bit of brilliance to it let's grade our clip so head over to the color tab the only thing that i think you should know about when starting out in davinci resolve it's the important part is the primary color 
other wheel. You have your lift, your gamma, your gain and the offset. The lift is for all the darkest parts in your image. The gamma is the middle parts like the skin tones and the mids and the gain is for all the highlights and the brightest parts. The offset it's the overall image. This one is a little bit dark. I want the overall one to be a little bit brighter so I'll push up my offset a little bit and now my darkest parts it looks a little bit washed out so I'll just drop the lift and then the gamma I'll push it up again to make the middle parts a little bit brighter. This one the highlights looks a little bit bright to me as well so I'll just drop the gain here and I'll just push the camera a little bit. If you want me to create an in-depth video of how to create power grades for your short form content, leave a comment below and let me know. So this is the final part of the video, is the final export. In the editing section, at the beginning of the clip, select I for an in point, and at the end of your clip, select the out point. Then next, let's go to the deliver page, and this is where we'll export only that clip. MP4, H.264 or 265. 265 is a little bit better. The encoder, you can leave it on auto. Resolution, use the timeline resolution. Timeline frame rate, and the rest is straightforward. You can leave it as is. If you have subtitles, export the subtitles as burn into video. We'll need to name our files and then select the location. We'll all set. Add to render queue and select render all. In the beginning, we, we did mute the audio track. So the video will export without that audio track. This is our final video before we upload it on Instagram or TikTok using only the sounds pre-edited. Perfect. That's it, the complete blueprint to edit short form videos inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let me know in the comments if you found this helpful or if there's anything that you find difficult or need help with, I can always make a video about it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.